All right, hello everybody and welcome back to Phantom Weather Channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the possibility of severe weather across the southeast tomorrow. And we're also going to be talking about the rainfall expected across that region the next couple of days, which could lead to some flash flooding concerns. As always, if you guys do find this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. And also be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want other people to get this information as well. Before you do though, let's get right down to business. So first off, we are taking a look at where our low pressure system is going to be situated tomorrow morning. So this is early tomorrow morning. As you can see, we're going to have a low located over southeastern Kentucky. And because the winds associated with low pressure systems move counter uh, counterclockwise, the eastern side of these low pressures are going to have winds coming out of the southwest and the east. So those winds from the south are going to help push the moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic northward, and that is going to help aid big storms. That's why you see uh, so much severe weather associated with these low pressures because uh, the, the southerly winds are helping to bring moisture northward. So tomorrow morning is going to be located over southeastern Kentucky. It will move eastward a little bit later into the early afternoon period, and then it will eventually move near the Charlotte area as we get towards about 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. It will be strengthening and it will be bringing some moisture a little bit further northward, helping with some severe weather. And then eventually, as we get later on into the evening, uh, this low is actually going to be weakening as it moves southward into Georgia and South Carolina. Now, associated with that low, we're also going to have some pretty strong mid-level flow as well. So these are our winds at the mid-levels of the atmosphere. Uh, we can see a little bit of a ridge build up here over the western and central United States. It's forming a ridge all the way up to Saskatchewan and Manitoba, but then it dips back southward as we get towards uh, the Ohio River Valley here, and we see a trough developing from the upper Midwest all the way out into the east coast here. This trough is bringing some strong wind shear out of the northwest with it across the Ohio Valley and the upper Midwest, and this is all moving southeastward into the mid-Atlantic and the southeast states, and this is helping to raise the wind shear across the area so any storms that develop in this region across the mid-atlantic tomorrow uh, could be could begin to organize and become severe so as we get towards noon tomorrow, we're going to have a, a pretty moist environment in place. We're going to have dew points generally in the low to mid-60s across the mid-Atlantic. Uh, we're looking at 67 in Morristown, 59 in Charlotte, 68 in Nashville, and 67 dew points in Chattanooga. So it's going to feel moist out there, and you're going to feel storms coming when you step outside by early afternoon tomorrow because it's just going to feel so muggy. And this will be on the increase as we get later on into the afternoon. Again, this low is helping to raise this moisture northward. So here's what the storms look like as we get towards noon tomorrow. They're going to start popping across the Appalachian Mountain vicinity here in northeast Tennessee into uh, North Carolina and Virginia here. Nothing too severe at this point, generally just pulse storms. But they will be on the increase as we get a little bit later into the afternoon. Here's 2 p.m. These storms are increasing in both coverage and intensity across western North Carolina, western Virginia. We could actually see a couple of clusters of storms developing across North Carolina and Virginia as we get towards the, uh, the uh, mid to late afternoon period tomorrow. And if we do see clusters of storms together, uh, we could be looking at more of a damaging wind threat tomorrow. It is also possible that we get a couple or a few supercells developing tomorrow as well, those strong rotating thunderstorms. However, we don't expect much of a tornado threat at all tomorrow, and that's in part due to the very weak low-level wind shear that we're going to be seeing. However, as we get later into the afternoon, damaging wind still a concern. Would have already moved out of Charlotte at this point, but it will be moving into northern portions of South Carolina and eastern North North Carolina as well. However, as we get into tomorrow evening, the storms will be weakening because of that weakening instability, and it's pretty much just regular old weak thunderstorms and rain showers as we get towards the 9 p.m. hour tomorrow night. Now, here's the risk of severe weather for tomorrow, which, as you guys can see, is on the low side. We're not talking about a big severe weather outbreak or anything like that by any means tomorrow. And again, we're not really looking at a tornado threat either. This is just the possibility of maybe a couple or a few storms here and there that could produce damaging winds or large hail from northern Virginia, or sorry, um, northern Georgia into southwestern Virginia here. So we're talking about the Carolinas, northeastern Tennessee, all of those areas here across the mid-Atlantic, uh, the southern portion of the mid-Atlantic and the south East could be looking at some of these storms being on the strong to severe side, and this is also a possibility across the central plains into northeastern Colorado. Now, associated with severe weather, 
We're also talking about the possibility of heavy rainfall as well. So this is all the rain that can be expected from this model into early tomorrow morning. So even today and tonight, we could get thunderstorms across the eastern portion of the Ohio Valley. And this could lead to some heavy rainfall across western Virginia and south, southern West Virginia here. Oh, that's a tongue twister. We could be looking at maybe over an inch of rain in some localized spots. Of course, in the higher elevation areas, that could lead to some localized flash flooding, but flash flooding not expected to be a major concern today. Nothing like we saw last week or the weeks prior. However, when you take those totals with tomorrow and tomorrow night's rainfall as well, this is all the rain expected through uh, early Wednesday morning. And in this case, or sorry, early Tuesday morning, and in this case, you could be looking at some very heavy rainfall totals across Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina here. Some spots could be looking at over two inches of rainfall, maybe even northward into southern Pennsylvania. So you will have to keep an eye on the possibility of isolated flash flooding, but widespread flash flooding is not expected to be a concern today or tomorrow. So that is going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more of them, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. And also be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want other people to get this information as well. But until the next video or live stream, stay safe and I'll talk to you guys back here next time.